So here's the thing. This is the Java 8 way that we saw in the previous unit. This is the Java 7 way. The one thing that this has extra is this interface with the condition that I was importing. But apart from that, this is all the code that we had to do in order to implement all this stuff, which is quite verbose in the Java 7 approach, into the Java 8 approach. It's much terser because we have Lambda expressions in it, so it's just one line. But if you think about the interface itself, what did we do? We have this condition here, which had a Boolean test method, and it took in a person instance. This seems like extra work for what we're trying to do over here. We are looking to pass in a condition. We don't really care about what this condition interface is called as. This could be called foo, and it would still work, right? So this, we could call this as foo, this is just a variable and this method could be called for us as well and we could just execute it, right? It really doesn't matter what the name of the interface is and what the name of the method is. But we still had to specify a specific method on a specific interface because we had to specify that as the type. So it feels like we are defining this interface as kind of an overhead. Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to do this? So to just write the lambda expression and somehow create a type for this. You remember I told you that Java 8 does not have a function type. They haven't created a new type called function. We are leveraging the concept of interface. But what the Java language designers have done is they've actually created some out-of-the-box interfaces to address some of these common scenarios. See, condition is a common thing. You want to write code which accepts some kind of a condition like this does a test takes in an input object and it returns whether it's a true or a false, right? This is a common scenario. There are other scenarios like this. Maybe there is a function which takes in an object and it just prints something to the console. So it's basically an interface in that case, which, which contains a method, which takes in an object and it returns a void. We've already seen that before. So there are all these common patterns, which the Java language designers have said, well, don't create an interface when you have all those common patterns, just use some out of the box interfaces. So in Java 8, there is a specific package called functions. So it's java.util.functions, which contain some out-of-the-box interfaces. Now here is the Java docs for java.util.function. You can see here there are a bunch of different interfaces over here. So let's take this example of a predicate. So a predicate is an interface, which is a generic interface, which represents a predicate Boolean valued function of one argument. It's not very helpful, so let's look at the details. So the predicate interface contains the method called test. Ignore the other methods for now. They're either default or they're static. So this is the only method that is an abstract method. Now there's a method called test which takes in an object of type T. So it's a generic type and it returns a Boolean. So if you were to ever need a Lambda expression that takes in an object and returns a Boolean, well, you don't have to create a new interface for it. You can just use the predicate interface. It comes out of the box. So in this case, that's what we are doing here, right? We are doing a condition.test. So the condition interface is kind of like a predicate. It takes in an object and it returns a Boolean. In this case, it takes an object of type person, but since the predicate interface is a generic type, we can have the generic type be person and it still works. So let's try that out here. So rather than have this be a condition, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a predicate type. Predicate, I'll call this predicate. Now predicate is a generic type. First let me import it from java.util.function. And now since it's a generic type, what I'll do is I'll make this off type person. Now predicate will have a method, let me take this out, dot test and here you see it takes in a person instance. I'm going to pass in p. Now notice what happens. There's no compilation error. I didn't have to change the code that called this method. You see I just changed the method itself because the code that called the method is a lambda expression. This is a lambda expression. This is a lambda expression. And as far as the lambda expression is concerned it doesn't really care what the interface is as long as the signature of the abstract method in the interface matches the signature of this lambda expression. What's the lambda expression doing? It's just taking an object and returning a boolean, which works just fine because that's exactly what the predicate 
interface does. It has a method called test, which takes in an object and returns a Boolean. So these are some out of the box interfaces that come with Java to handle some common scenarios. So if you look at the, the package itself, there are a lot of these out of the box interfaces. Some other examples are something called supplier. A supplier is something that doesn't take in any input, but it returns an object of type T. So it can be customized to anything that you want. There is also a function, which is a you know generic type of two types, which basically takes in an input and it returns an output. So this is the only abstract method here. Everything else is, as you can see, default or static. Now it takes in a type and it returns another type. So these are common scenarios. Now, since these are generic types, they will work for the types that you are concerned with. So you can use them when you have such common Lambda expressions and you don't want to create a new interface for it. So you remember I told you in the previous unit that the first step to creating a Lambda expression is to create an interface for it and define a method in that interface, which was step two, which has the same signature as that Lambda expression. Now here is a further shortcut. If you find an interface in the java.util.function package, which pretty much addresses the Lambda expression that you're writing, well, you don't have to create the interface as well. You can just use these out of the box interfaces. So let's make sure this works with the predicate uh, example. So I'm gonna run this. And now we see the things getting printed. All these person objects are getting printed. So it still works the same, but we have not completely bypassed the need to create an interface for this. We just have to find the right interface from the java.util.function package and we can just use that. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna give you one more example of how we can use some of these functions to write more Lambda expressions without having the need to declare an interface first.